Geographically, Chaozhou is located in the north of the coastal of Shantou City. And owing to its coastal orientation, Chaozhou cuisine is famous for its fresh seafood, particularly fish. And given its variety and relative affordability, fish has become the most consumed delicacy and a staple in Teochew cuisine. And to the Chinese community, fish means much more than just food. It also symbolizes abundance, affluence and prosperity. And for that reason, it is a must-have on the dining table during family gatherings and special occasions. Now, fish can be enjoyed in so many delicious ways and there is always a variation to please the everyday palate. Teochew cuisine is characterized by its preservation of natural flavors of the main ingredients, so their freshness and natural sweetness can be savored to its fullest. Fish is often steamed in a Teochew meal because fresh, well-caught fish is most preferred, and steaming preserves the tenderness and natural sweetness of the flesh, and nothing makes it more enjoyable than savouring the fish with the light, natural flavours of the broth from the steaming. We typically use the white pomfret or Chinese pomfret, dressed with salted vegetables, preserved plum, tomatoes, coriander and ginger. It's a really simple dish, but incredibly tasty. For a more flavourful dish, another popular favourite is the fried fish with oyster sauce. We will, however, never fry a really freshly caught fish as it is deemed as a waste to miss the full taste of the freshness of the fish if it is fried with sauce. For this version, the fish is deep fried until golden brown and crispy and drenched with sauce made from soy sauce, oyster sauce, garlic, chilli, rice wine, ginger, yam, Chinese leek, tomatoes, and spring onion. And to turn the fish dish into a kid's favourite or for the fussy eater, you can also add sweet and sour sauce made from ketchup, tomatoes, onion, and white vinegar. And I personally can never get enough of this. And in times of overindulgence, you can also whip up a palate cleansing pot of Teochew fish porridge. And for the Teochew fish porridge, the stock is key. Chicken drumstick, pork rib, ginger, dried scallop and dried cuttlefish are used to make the broth, gently simmered for at least a couple of hours for a tasty and robust flavour. The sweet broth is then drained over cooked rice and cooked for a minute with fresh fish slices. And to the Teochews, fish porridge is an all-time favourite unlike the common notion that porridge is diet for sick people. There is nothing that hits the spot like a bubbling pot of Teochew fish porridge, especially on a rainy day. And growing up, just knowing that my late father was making Teochew fish porridge for our meal often cheered us up and we'll be so looking forward to the meal. All in all, these are not just Teochew recipes, but also flavours developed over generations, carrying stories and memories with the people we love.